It's the most wonderful time of the year. What's up weirdos? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you six family Halloween movies. I know it's supposed to be five, but I love spooky kids movies. And a lot of these are from my childhood, so I feel like they like are super duper special to me. So let's just get into it. First, I'm hitting two Disney Channel original movies. And if you grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, you might be like, what? But if you need to see these movies, they're they're incredible. The first one is 100% my fave of all time, Halloween Town, which came out in 1998. Are you eating? cookie. Oh. This movie follows Marnie as she finds out she's a witch and her and her grandmother played by Debbie Reynolds save Halloween Town, a magical home for the supernatural. This movie was like super important to me as a kid. Whenever it was gonna come on or if a sequel was gonna come on I would literally dress up as a witch and get all my snacks and everything and just like sit in front of the TV and wait. It was like it was kind of a lot but it's really a great movie. My favorite quote of this one is definitely, being normal is vastly overrated. Now I'm going to chat up another Disney Channel original movie, and that is Don't Look Under the Bed. This movie is from 1999, and I watched it this time last year, and it is still amazing. I remember loving it as a kid, and then I rewatched it, and I was like, wow, this movie holds up. I think you're being framed. Yeah, what's the man? A teenager enlists the help of an imaginary friend named Larry Houdini to deal with a prank playing boogeyman. So basically, yeah, this is a boogeyman movie and the boogeyman itself and the boogie world that they go into at a certain point are so specific and amazing. It's, it's incredible. It's an incredible movie. If you guys haven't seen this one, you definitely have to check it out. Now let's look at another Disney creation and that is Tower of Terror. This movie came out in 1997 and was based on a ride at Disney World, which was based off of an episode of The Twilight Zone. It's about a reporter who investigates the disappearance of five people at a luxury hotel 60 years earlier. It also stars Kirsten Dunst, who I love in all of her childhood roles. Overall, this is a really fun ghost movie and also a killer ride at Disney World. And I think they actually turned it into something else now or are going to turn it into something else. If you know, tell me down below because I, I can't remember. If you haven't seen this one, it's really, really fun. All of the ghosts and like the side characters have really specific and big personalities and it's a really good ghost story. Now let's talk about Casper from 1995. And yes, I am spending an extreme amount of time in the 90s in this video. For 100 years, he has wandered the halls of Whipstaff Manor. Waiting for someone. There's a girl on my bed. Yes. I love Casper the Friendly Ghost. I think this movie is amazing. It is like a well made film. It is beautiful to watch. It is funny. It is heartfelt. They're, it's so good. I'd also like to give a special shout out to Casper and Wendy, which stars Hilary Duff. That is also a great movie. But come back, we're talking about Casper. If you want to see a shocking shocking picture this is actually the guy that did the voice for casper in the cartoons and in the movie and this is what he looks like it's so brooklyn i can't so anyways bring us back this movie stars christina ricky who of course is perfect in this film and has one of my favorite movie lines of all time which is from casper whispered to a sleeping christina and it says can i keep you i mean that is the most romantic line in the world and yes, I did want a ghost boyfriend after I saw this movie. Now we're gonna move on to a Tim Burton creation. I love Tim Burton, and I love all of, all of Tim Burton's movies, but this one I feel like is a little underappreciated, and that is Frank and Weenie. When you lose someone you love, they never really leave you. They just move into a special place in your heart. I don't want them in my heart. I want them here with me. I know. If we could bring them back, we would. This movie is about a boy whose dog dies and he tries to bring him back to life through science. Spoiler, it works. This movie is spooky and cute. And by spooky, I mean really spooky. All the characters are really frightening looking. And this movie's also in black and white, which like 
sort of adds this extra creepy layer to it but then it's also like full of heart because it's Tim Burton and it's amazing and finally we have the little vampire from 2002 you have another nightmare the vampires were back I dreamt it every night since I've been here the comet the beam of light the vampires and the vampire hunter <laughs> This is about Tony Thompson, played by Jonathan Lipnicki, who you'll probably know from the Stuart Little movies. So he moves to Scotland with his parents, and he has a hard time making friends until he meets a vampire named Rudolph. This movie also features a vampire hunter with a very fun truck. Side note, this vampire hunter was played by Jim Carter, who you might know as Mr. Carson from Downton Abbey. Oh yeah. There's also apparently a cartoon version of this that came out in 2017, but I am not talking about that one. I am talking about the live action one. And my favorite character in this movie is definitely the little vampire girl. I love her dress. I love her attitude, her little accent. It is just like, oh, it's so cute. And then she also has this thing with Tony Thompson where she's like, if you whistle wherever I am, I'll hear you. And then when he's in big trouble, he whistles and then she hears him. It's so, oh, it is beautiful. And that is it guys, that is six family friendly Halloween movies for you to check out this October. And I'll see you tomorrow, cause I have a video every day in October. Have a nice screen, bye.